I love a good mistake in a song. I love it when I'm listening to like a, you know, a ballad that's like acoustic guitar and vocals and, and maybe you hear like the pick of the guitarist hitting the pick guard. Or maybe you hear a little body movement or you hear a little breathing or, or in a singer's situation. Sometimes you hear like an emotional crack out of a singer, like so the pitch might not be on, but the emotional content is dead on, right? I wrote a song called You Are Beautiful. Uh, there's, I'll leave a link for it below, where pretty much the guitar part, you know, from beginning to end is exactly the same. It just repeats around and around and around. I, you know, did several takes of it. You know, what you watch is what you're hearing in that video, but I did hit one wrong note as far as what I had written, right? When I sat there and I listened to that take, I thought to myself, well, it's not exactly what I intended, but it's not a wrong note. It's in the key. It was totally okay, you know, musically. So I decided to leave it in because from beginning to end, overall, the performance was the best of the bunch that I had recorded. Now, when I listen back to that song, that wrong note is pretty much my favorite moment of the song. I hit one note differently. You know, check it out if you're curious. Um, I hit one note that was not intended, but now when I listen to it, I love it. Like, I genuinely love it. It, it was a, a happy mistake. I wanted to come here and just remind you guys that you don't need to iron out every single wrinkle. You don't need to sweep every piece of dirt under the carpet, you know? You should sometimes leave it in there. It's not always a bad idea to leave some of these elements of the recording process in there for the listener to hear. For me, the way I see it, when I listen to those things, if I listen to uh, like Bob Dylan or the Beatles or the Stones or uh, Wilco or Radiohead or Coldplay, I've heard all of those artists make mistakes somewhere along the line. Sometimes it's live, sometimes it's recordings. But what it does for me as a listener and as a musician, it humanizes it. It makes me feel, I don't know, a little bit better. It's not because it's like, oh, I can make mistakes too. Just something about it seems a little bit more real and authentic. Now, of course, if you're trying to go for like that super glossy LA sound, yeah, it might not be the best idea to leave like a little mistake in there, but it's a case by case situation. So it's hard to say if it is or it isn't a good idea. But anyway, all I wanted to remind you guys out there is that sometimes it's a good idea to leave a mistake in a song. Leaving like a little sound or a little whatever it may be coming in through the microphone. If you listen to the song later and you're like, is that bad? If, if there's a question mark, is that bad? My advice to you is leave it in there and let it mature like a good bottle of wine or something. And see what happens you know maybe later on down the road you either don't hear it anymore or you learn to love it like i do in the song that i did um yeah that's it you guys don't worry about perfection do not worry about it right worry about good performances and good emotional content good songwriting good lyrics all that stuff but don't worry about perfection because perfection eh, i mean life isn't perfect art isn't perfect music isn't perfect nothing's perfect and if you really want your music to be artistic, you need to let it be imperfect sometimes. That's it. Have a great weekend. Peace and love.